Okay, our game's getting there. We've got the crocodile. We've made him a little bit smaller. He can now navigate the maze successfully most of the time. It's a user error. He doesn't really have anywhere to go. So when he gets to the very end here, nothing happens. There's no, no end point to the game. So we're going to try and create one. Now we could do this by going to the backdrop, making a colored block here. And when he touches it, an action happens. I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to get rid of that spare one while we're here. What I'd prefer to do is to make a new sprite because when he touches that sprite, the action can happen, but we can use that sprite on multiple levels should we add extra levels later. So I'm going to go to choose a sprite. And again, I'm going to paint it, but this one's going to be very simple. We're going to use a rectangle. A white rectangle is not very exciting, so we're going to make it into a colored rectangle. Can't be a red one because otherwise it will interfere with the one we've already got. So I'm going to choose a purple rectangle. We're going to add some text, and I want the text to be white so it shows on here. And I'm just going to write end, come up with a more imaginative name. And I'm going to use my arrow key or my pointer to make the end a bit bigger. You'll see this is a little bit gigantic, so we don't want that. So we can change the size to 20. It should fit nicely there. We're going to name it. I'm going to call it end, game end, or something like that, level end, you choose. Now, the problem at the moment is this end can now be moved around. So what we want to do is just like we set the crocodile to go back to the beginning when we press the green flag, we want to do the same with the end. So we're going to go back to code, and this time you'll see we're on end, not enormous crocodile. We're going to use an event block within here, so we're going to use the when the green flag is clicked. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see that. We're going to use a forever loop again that's constantly doing it. And what we want it to do in this case is we want to set the position for end to here. Okay, so when the green flag's clicked, always it should be putting this here. So if we press on here and I try to move it, it just gets pulled straight back. Okay, so there's no cheating on this bit of the game now. This works now, but even if I take my crocodile to the end, there's no results. We need to change that as well. So this time within the crocodile, not the end, we want to do the same thing. So when the green flag is clicked, just like before, we want to set a forever loop. We want an if statement in there. So if something, then something. And what we're going to add in is if it's touching, not the mouse pointer, but the end. So we can choose end because the names match. And this is why it's so important we name our sprites. So when the green flag is clicked forever, if it's touching the end, well, what could happen? Well, we could just have a message saying, I've done it. So I'm just going to go to looks. And I'm going to say, I think got there, or I did it, or something like that. And then, just to make sure the game is clearly ended, I'm also going to hide my crocodile at that point. So the game's clearly over. So we press green flag now. Cheat a little bit just to show you. Drive my crocodile towards the end, it says I got there, and then afterwards the crocodile ends. Okay, and that makes a clear end to our game.